what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back here you go with another episode season 8 episode 11 is here today today is tuesday for y'all but it's still saturday for me as i'm recording all four of these episodes for you guys to see next week but happy tuesday nonetheless see you see see i'm already in the future and i'm saying i'm already in the future but anyways um this is as I said, still don't have any problems. See any problems season eight. I can see why people have a problem with it. But um, last episode, episode 10 was re was really slow. But I get what they were doing, you know, kind of showing, you know, kind of what the three major people or, you know, Negan, Rick, Michonne. We had a uh, little side story with Jada's find out what happened to her people. They're all dead. She survived. I want to see what um what role she's gonna play going forward of course simon and negan having issues with each other simon is not listening negan is still saying people is a resource all this stuff psychopathic conversation with rick you know blaming rick even though he kind of looked like he shed a tear for carl you know what i'm saying but it, it's all good anyways we're gonna jump into this reaction and i will see you guys for the review All right, guys, one more episode in the bag. Season 8, episode 11. Wow and wow and wow. I really do like it. I really do like it. Um, As I said, these episodes are slow. But we're building up to the final episode of the season. It's the second half, so, you know, rise up for the half. And then we slow it back down. But I like what they were doing. Tara needs to calm her ass down. Like... Her character is becoming is is becoming a little annoying right now for me. Um, in a way, where I didn't have a problem with her, you know, a couple seasons ago. She got an episode for herself. Um, it's just that it's annoying because even though you know that Dwight, it means to an end, you're trying to take him out right now, which does, which, you know what I'm saying? Going, oh, I got to get revenge. I, I just have to have the revenge right now. I can't stand looking at him. But everybody, this dude has taken so much from, from so many different people in the crew. What makes you so damn special? You get what I'm saying? That's how I'm looking at it. What, what makes her feel like she's so special that you know, different from everybody else. Everybody's going through it. Every, Dwight has done everybody dirty, okay? I understand why you want to kill Dwight, but at the same time, why now? It doesn't have to be done now. He's not fighting back. He's protecting y'all. He's helping y'all. He's proven it multiple times that he's helping y'all. Come on. You know what I'm saying? So, in terms of that, Tara is just being kind of stupid. Uh... Well, the bullet making has begin has begun. So that there's that, you know. Um, as I said before, I've said this. I said this multiple times, man. I don't have any problems with the season. It's not the greatest season ever, and uh, you know I'm gonna continue to say that it's not the greatest season ever. Um, there's stuff about it um, that I could say could have done could have been done better, as always. But at the same time, it's not like I'm saying this is a garbage dump of a season where there's no direction to it. There is a clear directive of what's going on in the story right now. You get what I'm saying? Um, I think they could have done a better job with the news of Carl's death, of Rick arriving. You get what I'm saying? Like, I think they could have done a better job. And I, I, I'm still wondering why they say Rick is here, but I didn't see Rick. Which was weird. They didn't show him at all. <laughs> you know, I think they could have done those scenes better. As in how they reported Carl's death. I think it should have been more than just silence. I think it would have hit harder. I think it would have been remembered better. If they, they, they should have done better with the news to, you know, people like Maggie and Carol should have we should have seen all of those reactions. You get what I'm saying? Um, I think there was no reaction. The only p people that you really got a reaction out of was Eden. 
that's it. That's the only person that you really got a reaction out of about hearing of cause that I think, I think in some, some ways, I think the people who have felt it, who all we already showed Michonne Rick, right. And I think we should have, I just think those scenes could have been done better. I think there should have been some sort of emotional reaction out of most of the people, Carol, um, Maggie, you know, um, and everybody that's just hearing about it. You get what I'm saying? Because especially Carol, Carol has been around Carl for the entire show and to them, for them not to show any reaction out of her, that was kind of weird to me. So in terms of that, I think that was very badly done. That was just terribly written. That table read should have just been thrown out the window. I, if I was at that table read, I would have been like, are you freaking kidding me? Are you're just going to pan the camera and show faces and play s s sad music? Like, no, this is a character that basically Maggie have uh, met him in a terrible state when he was shot. Right. They got to have some sort of reaction towards Carl better than that, especially Maggie and Carol. Anybody else? I don't really care about Morgan. Not so much. Morgan knew Carl from, no, Morgan never met Carl in season one. No, Morgan never met Carl. He, he just knows Rick. So, um, I can understand why Morgan would be stoic, you know, but for Eden, for, for Eden would have just met Carl like two seasons ago, pretty much. I want to say maybe it was three seasons ago. I think it was. I think it was two seasons ago because they got they got to Alexandria in season six. Right. I think so. I just don't get it. That was that's the only gripe that I had with the episode, because it's like the reactions was just so weird. The reactions was just very weird. So um, Eugene seems to have given Negan a very good idea. So we're going to see how that plays out. See what the plan is for them to attack with the walker so we'll see how that turns out um other than that man everything is, is is good everything is is um awesome i don't i think that's the only thing that i had that i think was not done well for that episode it's just those reactions to causes seem kind of weird to me like they just played sad music and you know what i'm saying it's like they they, they you know what i mean like if it was me that new Carl all those time, I would have broke down crying. He didn't, he didn't just crying because that's, that was her dude. You know what I'm saying? And we knew they, you know, I don't know. I don't want to say, I don't know. want to know if, you know, I don't want to say they fell in love with each other, but it kind of seemed that way. But at the same time, it was kind of like, it was just kind of weird. You know, I saw Maggie consoling her, but at the same time, I expected a different reaction, at least out of Carol. Carol is coming from season one with Carl, you know what I'm saying? Knowing him from he was around Shane and all of that stuff. And that was just kind of weird. But that's just my gripe with the episode. Doesn't mean that the story doesn't move along because it's moving along fine. Eugene taking charge, you know, you know, um, the doctor getting killed and then another doctor pops up. That was like the the the, the episode, the the the, the karma feel of the episode if you will if you want to call it that or you know just gabriel just believing that things will work out being optimistic having faith um you know and it's kind of like the message through the episode you know when one thing when when one thing doesn't go well there's another thing that goes well or there's a replacement you always just gotta keep the faith now gabriel doesn't know that a doctor showed up at hilltop so he's gonna be reeling about the fact that Carlson died or Dr. Carlson died or maybe he's probably gonna blame himself because he decided to take matters in all I think it was a stupid move because it was just the two of them for him to think that you know what I'm saying to think that he was gonna take him out you know um and survive that situation he probably could have gotten Gabriel killed too so there's that but in any case man I like where the season is going i don't know what it's building up to i think there's going to be another showdown of sorts 
um, when they attack the hilltop or whatever. I still got two more episodes to go um, before I finish reacting tonight. But anyways, thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. Leave a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that like button and leave a comment in the comment section. I appreciate y'all, man. Gratitude is never enough. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts, and I'm out. Peace.